Hola, mis queridos. ¿Cómo estás, mi amor, Alicia? Hello, my kittens. How are you? My name is Allison. We are playing Grim Tales, the Stone Queen Collector's Edition. I am so excited, everyone, because I have played ahead through Chapter 2, and it is really confusing. So I am glad I played ahead. Otherwise, we would be playing this for more than an hour. Oh, boy. It would have taken more than a week for me to finish it if I had done it blind. All right. If you are watching this just to find out what to do on certain parts of the game because you're already playing it yourself, go ahead and zoom through the video, figure out what you're missing. Otherwise, if you are new to the channel and you have no idea what's going on in this game, please check out the links provided down below in the description. There is a playlist link that leads you to all the videos that I've done for the Stone Queen as well as the previous video. That way you can get caught up on what's going on before you watch the rest of this video. The difference between the regular Grim Tales Stone Queen game versus the Collector's Edition. The Collector's Edition you get a strategy guide which is really neat. So there's four chapters plus the bonus chapter. The bonus chapter is also part of the Collector's Edition. The bonus content, this is the extra gameplay and we can't actually play it until we've actually finished the whole game. That's interesting. This time the mayor is at the entrance instead of that woman. I think you get wallpapers, concept art, and music in the original, but if not, uh, that's probably what's added there. I mean, it does a bonus content, so I would assume it's all part of the collector's edition. Otherwise, the regular just doesn't have them. I don't think there are achievements actually considering, but if you do want to see like achievements in the collector's edition type games, there's Nancy Drew, and there's also the Bonfire Stories. I'm also playing that on Sundays. It's a really fun series. Uh, I'm, right now, I'm working on the Faceless Gravedigger, which has been really interesting so far. Anywho, I think that's going to be it. You'll be getting a recap once we start playing the game. Then again, well, but this is really fascinating. We actually finished Chapter 1, and, whoops, found ourselves in this very interesting underground passage. And we got to the underground passage via this the mine, which is really interesting. There was a bear right here. We at we placed our gnome or sorry, goblin there so he could tap tap tapity tap on that bear and we got a sword out of it. And here's something that I realized I didn't look at. You got a sarcophagus, everyone. And it looks like... I guess he should hold something in his hands. It looks like he's missing a sword, which we do have. But he's also missing something else. Hmm, wonder what it is. At least I know what he looks like now. Oh, right. Oh, we have a camera. Right. Ayo. All right. Uh, let's go through this. Ooh, this is what we're going to be getting, I think. What is cold Golden orb. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, this, I think, is the tail for the lion. Yep. Alright. Yoink. Alright, harp. Uh, the painting is here. Doily. Um, right, right there. Scissors. Candlestick. I forgot what the lornette is. Oh. Oh, it's a type of, like, the... It's those glasses that you wear for, uh, uh, when you go to opera. Nice. Alright, that golden orb, I believe, goes here. Ooh, that's pretty. My sweet daughter, I ruled over the Stone Kingdom for many years, and I'm tired now of living in the underground. I want to live my old ages as an ordinary man on the surface. You have mastered all the knowledge I had. Rule this great kingdom honestly, as I taught you. Coat of arms, which I left, is the key to the stairs in this tomb. The king of the Stone Kingdom left his domain and chose life on the surface. That seems strange to me. Definitely strange. I'm wondering if he met someone. We need to get something, maybe tweezers or something like that, uh, to get that whatever it is in there. 
Ooh. Very, very interesting. So, move the three characters toward the goal at the top of the board. At least the warlock must survive. Click a character to move it to a highlighted cell. Click an arrow to on the right, sorry, to move all three. Yeah, any of these three. Uh, you can pre you can pass by pressing the cross to circle on the right. Defeat the monsters and collect coins. Watch the health bars beneath the characters. All right, so if you're wondering what these are, these are actually uh, warriors that you need to purchase later on. That's why we got to be collecting coins whenever these fellas die. All right, so let us see what we can do. I'll move you. Oh, I forgot that these fellas move. All right. Um. What needs to happen? Uh, let's move you there. There we go. Um. There we go. There we go. That guy lost a lot of health there. That's not good. Okay. Let's go ahead and move it up. So if you've noticed... Ooh. Nice. Um... We need... Could do that. There we go. Nice. So the red squares is not just where they can move. It's also where they can actually aim to kill. Unfortunately, that kind of game. Uh, <laughs> but you do need to defeat the monsters in order to get the end. In order to get to the end. And we want to try to make... Th uh, it doesn't say in here. It do yeah, it doesn't say in here. But you at least want this guy to get to the gate. Uh, that's why these two are purchasable. And that guy isn't. Alright. Oh, boy. Oh. Um. No. Hmm. We need... Hmm. Yeah, see what I... Oh, there we go. Ah! Booyah. Alright. So, we I do need to get as much coins as I can before these two fellas die. This one is getting pretty close to dying already, so... Um... Hmm... Oof. Alright, there we go. Jeez, these guys are just not doing well. Alright, uh, let us move forward. Yikes, okay. Is there a way? Hmm. Alright, let's move you here. And get them moving forward. Yoink! Let's move you there. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Awesome. These two, these two are seriously about to die, and I'm, I haven't even gotten to 90 coins. Not good. Okay. And he's dead. Frickadoodles. Um. Oof. Ah. 
true, yeah, okay. No! Frick. Shoot, my guy is about to die. No. There we go. Okay. That was frustrating me. Okay, so we're going to get the archer more uh more helpful than the other dude cuz this guy you don't have to be so in close range. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Ah, uh, frick. There we go. Okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, shoot. The wizard is about to die too. Ah, oh, frick. Oh, I can't do anything. Shoot. Dang it. All right. All right. That was the last try. I'm sorry, everyone. It's just, uh, this is time consuming trying to create content for you all. And I'm just failing miserably. As I seriously want to show you all how to win this, I think I might have to take my own time and playing this mini game. I think I know what to do. It's just going to take a lot of time to do it and this week is, is going to be a little stressful for me just because I have so much going on with trying to get all these parties that I have to go to to celebrate Christmas, to celebrate with my family. Because this Wednesday I really want me and my mom to hang out, do our usual thing. What we used to do when it was grandma's birthday, she did pass away unfortunately last year February. And it was really unfortunate because last winter was our first Christmas without her and this is going to be us, our second Christmas without her, especially her birthday. And, you know, I just want to keep my grandma's spirit alive by celebrating on her birthday and I kind of want to make sure that me and my mom, you know, have fun and do what grandma would want to do. It's, you know, one of those things where, you know, you got to keep living, got to keep looking up. Oh hey, we're back at the city the city gate. The castle square. What's in here? Ooh. You have to pay for my service, traveler. But I don't need money. I want something alive. Then I will let you pass. Hmm, alive. Like say a plant? Interesting. Whoa! Only the members of the royal family and their guests should go past me. You haven't been invited, and you're not a noble either. Oh, well then, I just need to get my royal scepter. What is this? I shouldn't mess with him unless I can convince him that I have royal authority. What, can we not show him the letter? Oh wait, no, we actually need something to stick into that thing, don't we? Ooh, hey -o. Traders like this one always have the very thing you need. It's a question of money. Right. Let it fly. Alright. Whoa. Um, I assume this is the key? Yep. Alright, so we're missing things. But like the eye, the ear, the nose. But, hey. Uh, we got stuff to do. For instance. Oh, wow, that's a lot of things. For instance, we actually need to go back to the mine because I did forget uh, that once I had that baseball bat, I could have done this. <laughs> uh, wait, do we need a pot? Where do I find a pot? Ooh, what's this? 
Oh, we got a flower. It's so beautiful. It must be carefully transplanted somewhere from this unfriendly place. Ooh. I'm confused. Oh, hey -o. I believe we can use this net here. Yoink! Awesome! Everything is awesome! Everything is wonderful! Alright! Looks like we have a flower! Here! Now let us go back and give this pheromone the plant. I think that would be enough to get to the other side. Yay! Thank you! Whoa, look at that. Whoa! Did you hear about the great flower, stranger? It brings joy to all the citizens of the Stone Kingdom. Alright, mind you. <laughs> this guy? Again, I don't know what's going on with the voice actor and the people who wrote the dialogue for, the, for their characters. It's like they didn't tell them what was actually going to be written or something. Either that or the voice actor thought he could ad-lib and they would fix that in the text, which they didn't. You'll see what I'm talking about. I've been trying to create a flower that would look similar to this miraculous creation. Really? Sadly, I have not been about to do it yet. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> For many years I have been helping people get to the other side, but my arm is broken. Aww. The blacksmith is repairing it. I can't help you now. The blacksmith is fixing the golem's arm. I won't get to the other side until it's ready. Oh, that's a golem! Made of stone. Oh, that makes sense. In any other situation, I wouldn't open a door with such a noise coming from behind. But I have no choice here. Dude, you always have a choice. What are you freaking talking about? I am not a specialist, but I understand that I need some gear. Yep, a hammer and a chisel, it seems. Ooh, I can already see the arm. It just needs to be chiseled off. Okay. Ooh. Making a miracle flower out of ordinary materials is out of the question. I need something special. Um, ooh, what is this? Ew. Yoink. Ah. I see. So, I mean, I could read the info to you all, but it's pretty obvious on what we gotta do here. We gotta move the numbers around and have it from going 1 to 15, pretty much across. So, like, 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12, 13 to 15. So, it's actually gonna be a bit of a challenge. So, I do believe, though, after this puzzle, it is gonna be time to go, uh... Unfortunately, because I do believe out of everything that I've done in the uh, video, <laughs> it is time to go. Alright, um, yoink and yoink. Yeah, okay. Um,. Shoot. I think I messed this up. Yeah, I messed this up. <laughs> Whoops. Um. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it's gotta go... Okay. Uh... 
Alright. And then... Oh, wait a minute. This is where I need to... Okay. This is where I actually need to have the 1 and 2 uh, right here. So that I can fix the order a bit. It's kind of hard to do that. Um, and you need to have it in a certain manner. Eh. This is going to be difficult because I can't move this, move these two. <laughs> Ha! There we go. Okay. Jeez, that took a while. All right. Um, considering this is kind of an important puzzle, I do need to make sure everything is in it. Uh, I do need to make sure that you can see exactly what I'm doing here. That way. Oh shoot! I messed that up. Frick. Um. Yeah, I messed that up. Dang it. Okay. Alright, um... Okay, maybe... I can do this? Okay, yeah, that works, that works, that works, okay. Awesome, okay. So now we need to get nine over here. Uh... Unfortunately, <laughs> we are so freaking close. Okay. Ah! Oh my gosh, so freaking close. Okay. I forgot that I need to concentrate on the bottom row too. Ah! Oh my gosh, I think we did it. Oh my gosh, finally. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so now we have one of two bronze coins. We will need those. We'll need to be collecting quite a bit of coins throughout the game. So I'm actually going to go ahead and place these heads here. These here. Yay! And guess what? We found a Cerberus! 
I think he is friendly, even though he is guarding the cellar. I don't think we're going to be going to the cellar anytime soon. Although I think this is the cellar. Actually, you know what? Considering how long I took on that castle puzzle, the fighting battle, I think I might do this as well. I honestly don't know how much time I have left on this video. Um, I just know that I have to do another recording right after this. What the heck? There we go. Yeah. Mushroom. Um. Oh, hey, can opener. And we got our tomato. Oh yeah. Pumpkin. Hard hat. Rubber glove. Oh, we're getting be getting that rubber glove. I won't. Can't leave the saddle broken. There we go. A skull. We're missing two mushrooms. There's one mushroom. A bag. Oh, excuse me. There's a mushroom. Shoehorn. Oh, yeah. Alright, we got a rubber glove. Alright, and with that in mind, I'm actually going to go to here so that I can remind myself why I'm going to be here in the next video. That is going to be it, everyone. Unfortunately, I wish I knew how much time I had left on that because seriously, it drives me nuts when I end up having a long time on a certain puzzle and I know I need to be giving you more things to figure out when you're playing this game yourself but I'm not just playing all these hidden objects games to help you out when you play the games I'm also playing these hidden objects games and Nancy Drew to have fun and those Nancy Drew games I can almost do them in my sleep almost you've seen me struggle <laughs> a lot <laughs> despite the fact a lot of those Nancy Drew games I hadn't played in years well not years oh reminder 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 this Saturday now I'm remembering this Saturday, we're doing a live stream. It is our monthly live stream. And just to remind you all, when it comes to this live stream, everyone, it's going to be starting at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. It should be daylight time. I don't really know what the difference is between standard and daylight, because honestly, the same thing, in my opinion. Anywho, it's going to be starting 10 a.m. Central. That's going to be 8 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Normally for my monthly live streams, I try to have them go on till five o'clock. That way I can have like multiple games going on and let you all have some fun and me have some fun. Unfortunately, this Saturday, I think I might end up going to a party with a bunch of my gal pals. I miss hanging out with them. They always do something once a month and the fact that they're doing it this Saturday is really unfortunate and their party actually starts at the same time my live stream would normally end. So I need to end it a little earlier so that I can make it to our party. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun. Anywho, I love you kittens and my viewers so, so much. And I just wanna make sure that you all are happy because seeing you happy makes me happy. By the way, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And on that note, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel by watching this video, go ahead and click, 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 click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray as well as the bell icon right next to it. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! the interactive in menus hmm? <gasps> by the way you all never named him what am I gonna do I I'm still waiting for you all to comment hmm? on what name to give him I mean, he's pretty much a goblin do I just name him hob because technically he's not a hobgoblin